Welcome. In this video, we'll dive into Salesforce Omnichannel, a powerful tool to help you efficiently route cases to the right agents. Let's get started. Salesforce Omnichannel is like your trusty traffic cop for customer support. It automatically assigns customer inquiries to the right agents based on skills, availability, and predefined rules regardless of channel. Imagine you're running a bustling support center with different agents specialized in various areas. Some handle billing inquiries, while others are tech wizards. Omnichannel ensures each case finds its way to the most suitable agent, just like magic. Company ABC is a large telecommunications provider with a busy customer support center. They are experiencing a high volume of customer inquiries, including technical issues, billing questions, and service upgrades. To better manage these inquiries and improve customer service, they decide to implement Salesforce Omnichannel. We'll follow the journey of service agent Tim and service supervisor Jim as they leverage Omnichannel to enhance their support operations. Goals. Efficiently route customer inquiries to the right support agents based on their skills and availability. Improve response times and overall customer satisfaction. Ensure a transparent and organized case management process. Tim starts his day by logging into Salesforce to begin his shift. He sets his present status to available using Omnichannel, indicating that he's ready to take on customer cases. As customer inquiries flood in, Omnichannel automatically assigns them based on Tim's skills and availability. Tim receives a notification for a case and accepts it. He reviews the case details, communicates with the customer, and starts working on the issue. Throughout the process, Tim updates the case status and adds notes for a transparent case history. After successfully resolving the technical issue, Tim marks the case as resolved and then closed. Meanwhile, Jim, the service supervisor, logs into Salesforce and accesses the Omni-Channel Supervisor Console. You can add Omni Supervisor to the Service Console. It is part of the navigation items. Jim can access Omni Supervisor from the navigation items, will be able to monitor Omni activity for agents, queues, and work, and will be able to filter and sort activity to focus attention and spot outliers. The Supervisor dashboard gives Jim a breakdown of agent availability and workload by queue. And furthermore, Jim can also drill into specific agents for configurations, activity, and current work. Jim can view real-time agent workloads, including the number of assigned cases and their statuses, using Omni Supervisor. Here's a tip. It is recommended to limit who has access to the Omni Supervisor tab. You can do this by editing all of your profiles to set Omni Supervisor to tab hidden under tab settings or object settings for your profiles. He observes how Omnichannel is distributing cases among agents, ensuring a balanced workload. If Jim notices an agent struggling, he can offer guidance and support. Based on insights gained from Omnichannel data, Jim makes data-driven decisions to optimize case routing and agent schedules. Salesforce Omnichannel empowers Tim, the service agent, to efficiently manage cases, and Jim, the service supervisor, to oversee and optimize support operations. This leads to enhanced customer service and satisfaction. That was magical. But how does this magic work? Now let's break down the behind the scenes settings to help you get Omnichannel up and running in a few quick steps. Let's start by making Omnichannel accessible for our agents by adding Omnichannel to the Lightning App page. In Setup, search for App Manager and edit your Lightning App page to include Omnichannel. Our agents are now equipped to accept incoming cases and supervisors are ready to make data-driven decisions based on key metrics. Next, let's enable Omnichannel. Click on the gear icon, Setup, and search for Omnichannel settings. Then, enable Omnichannel. Tip, don't forget, you can also customize your Omnichannel settings to fit your business needs by further defining routing configurations, setting up queues, and establishing routing priorities. Next, we will create presence statuses. Presence statuses allow agents to show if they're available, busy, or on a break. Search for presence statuses in Setup and create the statuses you need. 
Be sure your agents are using the statuses correctly, as it is essential for Omnichannel to make the right routing decisions. Now we will create routing configurations. Search for Omnichannel Routing Configurations in Setup and create a new configuration. Here, you can customize your routing configuration settings to define how work items are pushed to agents. Be sure to test your routing configurations to ensure they're sending cases where they should. Finally, we will create queues to group work items for your agents. Search for queues in Setup, then create new ones as needed. Regularly update your queues to reflect changes in your agent team or business priorities. Similarly, you will be able to create skills and assign them to your agents and profiles. And that's it. You are now ready to route the right cases to the right agents. To recap, in this video, we highlighted how Salesforce Omnichannel routes cases to agents based on skills or queues in any channel. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com for details and step-by-step -step instructions on all things Omnichannel. And check out trailhead.com for learning modules like Omnichannel for Lightning Experience. Thanks for watching.